right, today we're going to be massaging our friend's feet. These are hard-working, underloved, amazing parts of our body that deserve a lot of love. So I'm just starting by doing a little bit of pressing, alternating the feet, and pressing with my knuckles. Squeezing here, just doing a little pr a few presses, and I'm going to go underneath the ankle, wrap my hand around, and just give a little bit of traction to the ankle. You're not going to want to pull too hard, because then their head is going to, their chin is going to come forward and hit the massage table. That's just starting to open up a little bit in the ankle joint. And now for feet, I like to use uh, something that has a little more grip, like shea butter. That's my preferred medium for foot massage. And normally a foot massage would be part of a whole body massage. So I'm coming underneath the top of the foot, pressing my thumb in, just doing that a few times. Taking each toe, giving it a little squish. And there. Now I like to save my thumbs for this one technique. We're just going to paddle the thumbs on the sole of the foot. Now I'm trying to keep my thumb joints in a line. So I'm not uh, just using my thumbs like this, I'm using the whole hand and backing that thumb joint up with, the, with my wrist. And I can feel she's got some crunchies down here. Doing a little bit of free form massage to break up some of those tender spots. And then I like to take my fist, my hand underneath the bottom of the foot, which is the top of the foot actually, and just doing some nice stretching back and forth. And as I come back, I'm going to take my knuckles and do some little circles in the heel. And just spreading that. I, I actually like to also get my forearm into that. Give the calf just a little bit of love too. The ink, the uh, Achilles. I'm doing some petrissage and pulling. Pulling underneath. 
can take this foot all the way up and now I have her ankle. We can sit right next to the ankle, placing the top here on our shoulder and then with the pads of the, the hands, we're going to make some circles right around the malleolus, the ankle bones that stick out. We just do that a few times. Coming up and pressing the tops of the fingers along the bottom of the foot. Nice and slowly feels really good. I think. And from here we can get our thumbs in to the tops of the toes. Just getting into those metatarsal phalangeal joints. Maybe a little pulling of each toe. And now with the hand we're going to go through and press the tops and the bottoms of the foot separating those long bones of the foot. So I'm doing a little bit of a seesaw motion. And then just spreading that out. A couple more circles. You can stretch out the calf by pressing down on the foot here. And then stretching the top of the foot this way. And it's kind of fun just to give the ankle a little shaky shake. Pick it up, give the whole leg a little shake. Bringing that foot back down. Integrating that feeling with the rest of the leg. How's it feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is Just do that same thing on the side. Just pulling from underneath and squeezing the whole foot. You can also do just some pressure points along the foot with your thumbs. Just leaning your body weight in. and pulling all the toes. And I'm coming under, scooping under, and just doing some paddling with the thumbs. Everybody has different levels of sensitivity in their feet, so it's good to check in with your client about the pressure. Does the pressure feel good? Or? Mm -hmm. 
good um, question to ask is, would you like more or less pressure? That way, they need to answer one way or the other. If the pressure is just right, they can answer truthfully. A lot of times if you just say, how's the pressure, like I just did, <laughs> They're just going to say, it's okay. It's good. Okay. Now going in with my knuckles and just stretching that plantar surface. And I'm going to go up with my knuckles and make some circles on the heel. And just getting some little points along the outside of the heel, too. If you're already using, if you're in the middle of a massage and you're already using your forearms, one nice thing to do, just go around, get your forearm in there. ankle a little bit of love, the inner ankle, now I'm going to just sit here, place the foot on my shoulder and do those circles around the malleolus. Coming up and squeezing the entire foot. I'm going to do three lines, one towards the inner arch of the foot, one down the middle, and the last one more towards the outer arch. So, squeezing and going slow. Through the middle. And you can spread the fingers apart. And then doing the just separating those metatarsals, tarsals and metatarsals. And smoothing it out. Taking your thumbs, going in between the toes. down on the foot, give a little stretch to the Achilles here, and then just stretching the foot up. Just a little shake, shake. Lifting the foot up. I like to end and just 
press in here, right in the middle, underneath the, the base of the toes, right in the center of the foot, is a nice acupressure point called the bubbling spring. It's kidney one. And this is one of the points where we take in the energy from the earth. Very nice feeling to open up this point. It's very grounding and yet uplifting. All right, so there's some things you can do while your client is prone working with the foot.